All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to get this party started. Here we have the TCL Q825. So you guys go down here and you see right there. That's what it's all about. Look at all of that. I'm not gonna lie, the first impressions of this box are pretty damn nice. Much, much better than the presentation I see from the 6 Series. This looks really good. And a, a little bonus thing to add, they got these clips. These bad boys right here that I love so much. I absolutely love when they include these little clips because it makes life so much easier for us all. Now as you guys can tell, my box is soaking freaking wet because it is a rainy day here and I'm just gonna unbox it and hope that there's no significant water damage, but either way, I think we'll be all right. They got styrofoam and stuff, so let's see what ends up happening with the TCL Q825. All right, so I got the big ass box that's completely soaking wet, you guys see? All this water here, yeah? So I finally got that box off of my uh, TCL, covered in water, was worried about water damage because of that, right? Totally not a thing, because TCL covered the box from head to toe in styrofoam. Look at this, this is absolutely incredible stuff. Check this out, look at that. All of this is the box. The front plate, I guess, or whatever, the front cardboard plate. And then this, I've never seen this before, literally from corner to corner in styrofoam, because they know UPS drivers are damaging TVs, they're not gonna let it happen. How freaking cool is that? I mean, really, you really couldn't hope for more when you're talking about an Look at this. Look at all of this. The whole front face of this TV is well protected here by like layers of styrofoam. So looking good so far, TCL. All right, so now that we took one of the styrofoam pieces off, you've got your stand at the top here. Okay, so we're gonna pull this out some sort of way. It's got some weight to it. Definitely has some weight to it. Okay, so that's out. We laid that big thing there. I think the stand is probably what makes this box so heavy, which by the way, you will need a second person to do this if you're not like bench pressing and hulking up every day, because this thing is pretty freaking heavy. Okay, so now we've got this long bar, which is the other part of the T-stand there. Okay, so we've got our stand pieces, and we got uh, this nice black box. I, I don't know what's in it yet, but I like this nice black box. I wonder what this could be. I really do wonder what this could be. I'm really liking this. Look how nice they did that. They got TCL and black. I'm always a sucker when they give me a nice accessory box like this. TCL is really starting to impress me right now. And uh, all right, I see you TCL. I acknowledge this. All right, so now we have the back of the TV. You know, I'm not thrilled about this texture on the back. I think it's a crappy texture, but you know, whatever. It is better than the H9F in my opinion, the back of this TV. Now. Looking at this, this is why. Look at this nice black glossy finish they put on this thing. Like it's so pretty, this TV. So pretty. It reminds me a lot of my E8 OLED. Very, very nice. Or at least my old E8 OLED. So, so far, I gotta say, damn TCL. Throwing down. Now the HDMI ports are unfortunately on this side. Now that's a bad thing because the way my current setup is, it's gonna be a major stretch or a remodel of my room here, which I'm not thrilled about, but so far, impressed. Not bad, and again, I love how shiny that is, and it just, it looks nice. It's a nice looking TV, and I like, if you guys can see this, the geometrical patterns that they've got, they've got going here. It's nothing it's fancy, but I, I take notice to the little changes in architecture in the back, so it's good to note. Okay, so now we're opening the TCL box here, which we have some literature, lovely literature. We're gonna read all about that. We've got a TCL remote, and it is the same Fisher Price remote. It definitely is. I mean, look at this. I mean, look, look, look at this right here. We got our uh, nice little box and presentation overall, but. Uh, they're just cords, nothing much you can expect there. Little brackets and things and some screws. Let's put this uh, stand together and <laughs> see what happens after that. Now, this is one of the things I find particularly annoying. This stand right here, pretty damn heavy. So I have my lovely assistant holding the stand and uh, we're just gonna screw this in. Otherwise, if you try to one hand this, it'll just keep falling down because of the weight of the stand. So I'm gonna screw this in and 
we're going to, uh, we can never get it locked on. I'm struggling way harder with this than I actually should be struggling with this. But, uh, we're gonna get it screwed in and then let you know what happens next. All right, so we got the TV hooked up and turned on. So now we're gonna pair this, it says English, click English. The United States set up for home use. I will not connect to the internet. That is something I'm against. Uh, now let's connect your devices. And I'll just do that later since I haven't turned anything on. And then it says all done. Now I'm gonna go into settings. Um, let's go picture settings. Uh, I know there's a way you can customize the home menu and all that stuff forgot how to do all this stuff personally. I'll play with it and I'll set some things up. Maybe advanced? No. I don't know. Screen savers? Honestly, I can't tell you. They say change the screen savers. Whatever. So what do we have in here? What other modes? We have picture settings. We have TV inputs, which they cover basically all the TV inputs. Audio. Dolby Atmos notification, which I love. Parental lock. Under system, we have power, time, uh, standby LED on. So if you don't want the LED on, the standby LED on, you can turn that off here. So that's good. Um, you've got a bunch of other controls, like control other devices. I got to hook up other stuff, but I haven't done that yet. So that'll probably be the next step. But essentially, this is how you unbox and set up the TV. It's very straightforward, actually. The moment you put the batteries into the remote, it does start working. And that's pretty much it. Not a whole lot to do here. So, all right. Thank you guys for watching. Number one brand in honesty. Expect more videos. Until the next time, see you guys later.